Hello, everyone. My name is Brandon Faulkner. I'm an intern for Village Core. For other events like this, be sure to check out villagecore.org or check out our YouTube channel where we upload these meetings in case you miss them. Today, we'll be discussing CarMax and the utility that it has behind finding a new car for you to drive dependent on your budget. So with CarMax, essentially it's a car selling service or it's a car selling and buying service. So you can both sell your car and you can both buy a car from CarMax. The way that it works is that you can either look online, you can look in person um, at different kinds of cars that you want, or you can trade in different cars as well um, in the future. There are also other options for buying these cars like financing a car if you don't have the money immediately. CarMax will help you work a way out to still have that car and still pay them. Um, and CarMax is just a really easy way to find and use uh, cars that might be brand new or might be older, depending on what you want to do. They are also cheaper than typically buying a newer car, since these cars are used cars. But CarMax does go through routine inspections to make sure that the car is functioning, to make the car make sure that the car is safe, and to make sure that the car has the best quality just as it just as it would be if it was new. So the way that this works is whenever CarMax receives a car, they will do multiple safety inspections. They'll do a deep clean, and then they'll make sure that that car is ready to go. And if it's not ready to go, they will not sell it to you. Or they will not take it if you are trying to either sell it to them or trade it in. So here we have a ton of different, uh, here we have the homepage where we get kind of like a general overview. And CarMax also ships your car to your door. So if you're not necessarily looking to go out and actually buy the car at their stores, CarMax will ship that car to you and make sure that you have your car ready to go right out the door. So if we click here, if we search by make, model, or keyword, essentially with CarMax, depending on where you're looking, there are different makes and models of a car. So let's say I was looking for, let's say I was looking for, Let's say I was in the market for an SUV. I would go to the SUV section, and now we have tons of different SUVs from tons of different brands. We have brands like Ford, Hyundai, uh, Honda. We have Jeeps. We have Toyotas. We have Chevrolet, GMC, a ton of different uh, options with a ton of different price ranges, as well as a ton of different miles. So with CarMax, depending on what you're looking for, whether you're looking for a car with under um, 100,000 miles or if you're looking for a car above 100,000 miles, CarMax has something that might suit you. So typically what my family does is we buy cars that normally don't have that many miles. Um, the car that we most recently bought from CarMax had around 19,000 miles and it is a 2021 version of a Toyota Corolla or a Toyota, yeah, Toyota Corolla. Um, so of course, uh, because it only had 19,000 miles, it, it was a little bit more expensive than the typical cars that we see um, here on the homepage. Um, so here, a car that is selling, uh, that is 24,000 miles, um, which is a 2018 Ford, is selling for roughly $20,000. Um, so with CarMax, with the option of online viewing, you can go through and you can actually preview the outside of the car. So with this, you can see, are there any dings, any scratches, anything that I need to be worried about? We can see that all by looking at the car through its 360 model of it. We can also take an interior look. So if you wanted to know what the car would look like without, uh, before getting into the car, you'd be able to take a look around with the 360 model. So here we can see they've actually left the uh, hose of the vacuum in, but here we can see the car is relatively clean. It's a nice car. It's a nice car to go around, maybe go to the beach in, maybe take the family out. Um, it's really up to you. We can see that uh, there are your typical gas and brake. There's the, there's the uh, parking brake. And then also um, to put the car in park, we have the radio. Um, it looks like it does not have the typical features of a normal, of a normal car that is newer. Um, we can also see the roof. So we can see the sunglass holder, the lights, all, all the things that might be a necessity when looking at your car. We can also take a look at the back seat. So not only did we get a view from the front seat of the car using the CarMax website, 
we also get a view of the back seat. So here it has a little a uh, little blurb for me to read where the backseat space shows me exactly what can fit. So if you're looking to sort of have a family or if you're looking to kind of um, see who would fit in your car, dependent on height, um, CarMax will tell you. So a baby seat that is, sto that is uh, shown here is 20, 21 or 26.5 inches by 21.5 inches by 24 inches. And the mannequin is six foot, foot one. So essentially, with those dimensions, you can roughly judge what will fit in your car. So if you want, if you want to have a family later down the line, and you might think this is the car for you, absolutely pick this car. If you're somebody who's on the tall side, um, and but still a little bit below six foot one, this might be the car for you. So CarMax provides all these details and more details when you go in person um, when first buying your car. So here we see that 17 people have saved this. We also see there are different kinds of appointments that you can book. And then also you can look at a price calculator. So let's say I were to put a $3,000 uh, down payment and my credit rating is excellent. And I wanna do this over 48 months. So here we can see the monthly payments that I'd be making out to the car. We can see the est estimated APR, and then we can also see the price summary. So in total, it would be it would roughly come out to twenty thousand dollars when I when I wish to purchase this car. We can also get pre qualified from the for the car using the website, and later on go in person to finish up the process. We can see what comes with the car as well, such as the keys that you'll be utilizing for the car. We can also see the trunk space, which is very important when you're buying your car to see what will fit. We can see that this car has a backup camera. We can see that the car has uh, the radio working, uh, air conditioning, seat warmers. We can see a bunch of different things using the photos of this car. And then down here, we'd be able to either reserve the car, buy online, or um, buy online and pick up or buy online and get delivery. So there's three options for you. So you can reserve it for a test drive. You can, you can pick it up right there at the dealership or you can get it ordered straight to your door. Um, then we can also see some more information about the car, like how, how it has a four cylinder uh, turbo gas, front wheel drive, white black, uh, white black color. There's the Apple CarPlay uh, in it, the rear view camera, anything that you need to know. There's also a video tour. You have the cargo space here, as we can see, seat configuration, back seat configuration. We have the tech and entertainment. And then we also have a few other, um, few other a few other pieces of information. So here we can also see that there is a slight issue. So CarMax right now is telling me that there is a co cosmetic imperfection and the photo is available to look at. So if you're somebody who doesn't necessarily know what's wrong with their car when you go in, in person to look at it, CarMax will actually tell you through a detailed look at their inspection what might be wrong with the car. And here we can see there's a little imperfection there. It might not be noticeable to the naked eye, but as you somebody as as you buy the car, you might want to know about it just in case just in case that gets bigger, just in case the paint starts peeling, you can go to CarMax and you can say, "Hey, Either you guys didn't tell me about this or you did tell me about this and I want to thank you for telling me and I'll deal with it accordingly. So CarMax is really transparent with how they do things. They have a 125 point inspection uh, list that they go through with all their cars. And it's also a 30 day money back guaranteed up to 1,500 miles with a 90 day or 4,000 mile limited warranty Whichever comes, wor uh, whichever comes first. And of course, there might be a manufacturer uh, warranty on there um, that, you, that might be uh, applicable when you um, buy this car. But not only do they have just SUVs, you can also modify it by specific specifications to your likings. Uh, so let's say, let's say I didn't necessarily want an SUV. So let's remove the SUV function and let's take a look at the 63,060 other cars that are available. But let's say I didn't wanna look at a certain type of car. 
let's say where is it where is it where is it uh let's say let's say i want to keep it in my area uh let's say i want to keep the inspection to 50 miles so this means that w within a 50 mile radius i'm looking at all the car maxes let's say i want any price for shipping let's say i want to look at oceanside escondido Kearney Mesa, Irvine, and that's about it. We'll keep it at that. And let's say for now, I don't want to necessarily look at different types of uh, SUVs uh, or different types of Fords. Let's say I want to specify this to BMWs. Um, Let's say I want to specify BMWs, Lexus, Mazda, and let's go with Toyota, and Mercedes-Benz. So now, since I've selected those filters using the filter section on the side, I now have a curated list to my liking. I have all the cars that might be suitable for me and my family later down the road. Since I will be mainly buying this car for myself, I don't necessarily need such a big car unless I really want to go to the beach and I really want to use the car um, for that for the beach. Um, we can also look at different models. Um, so with the models tab, we have different kinds of specifications for models. Like you could look at an M2, Um, or you could look at all these different models that might be cheaper, might be more expensive, depending on what you're looking for. We can also look at series, bottle types, uh, body types, I mean, fuel types, the year that it was built, the price, the mileage, the features, um, the drivetrain, the exterior, the exterior color, the interior color, transmission, cylinders, and much, much more. So let's actually specify my mileage. So let's say I don't want anything above, let's say I don't want to go above 60,000 miles. Let's say I want to really, or let's go, let's actually go 50. Let's say I want a car that's under 50,000 miles or 50,000 miles and under, and I want to keep it there. And so now that I have all these different things that are specified in my car, now I can go through and I can do a detailed look about what cars. We can also compare cars. So with the six different slots that CarMax, prov that CarMax provides, I can drag and drop, or I can select cars. Whoops. Uh, I can select cars that will fit into this area here. Um, I don't know why it's not, nope. Uh, so I can move, or I can select cars that I might want to buy um, by simply clicking on this little check mark, and then we can go to compare function. So let's go for this 2020 Toyota Camry. Let's go for this BMW. Let's pick, let's just start picking random cars. And then of course we can see more matches to my liking. Um, so let's go for this 2019 Mazda. And then finally, the last car, let's go for, sure, 2019 BMW X1. All right, and there's also another box for you, um, if you if you choose. So now let's go compare. So the compare function allows you to pair cars against each other. You can see the different highlights, like how many people have saved it, where the location is, so both cars are nearby. What the price point is, one car is more expensive than the other. We can also see the customer reviews about the car and how many people have reviewed it. We can see the real, uh, I can't even read today. We can see how reliable the car will be. So the Toyota will be much more reliable than the BMW. We can also see that it's well equipped uh, and it, this one's loaded. Um, there's also a difference in mileage, like there's 47,000 miles on this one, 18,000 18, miles on that one. We can also see it was a leased vehicle. And then we can also see there was no previous owner on this vehicle um, that they know of. We can also see the colors of the car. 
And then we can also take a look at all the different types of functions within the car, all the things that are provided, and so much more. We can also see that there is no four-wheel drive, but there is a four-wheel drive in this one. And this list essentially tells you what you might want to look at and what you might uh, think, okay, one car is better than the other. I want to pick this car over that car. Um, so basically just going down this list, comparing them, um, showing the difference. And uh, you can also see similarities, differences, specifications. You can also compare the photos to each other. So you can see both cars side by side, how they might look. And let's say I didn't like the Camry. Let's say, let's get rid of the Camry and let's pair it up against a Mazda. So we have two cars that are 2019 and they're both different brands, Mazda and BMW. And I can go through once more like I just did with the other car. And I can go through and I can compare it to its uh, to the other car and I can look at all the specifications, all the similarities, what it has, how reliable it is, and the difference within each car. So that's essentially how you buy cars on CarMax. You can look at the different filters, different things that you might be looking for, or you can just flip around. If you're looking for something luxurious, like let's say they might not have one, but let's say let's look for a Ferrari. I spelled that wrong. Let's look for our Ferrari. No matches. Nobody has a Ferrari. Of course. Actually, let's take filters off. Now let's do this. All right. So nobody has a Ferrari. Let's say, let's say Tesla. Let's say I was looking for a Tesla. Now all my options for Teslas have shown up. And now I can specify which Tesla I want, which Tesla I need, which one is gonna suit well. Um, with the specifications that I'm looking for and other things of that nature. It's really whatever car you might think that you like is out there. Um, some of the cars won't necessarily be at your, lo uh, at your local location because they might not have in, in stock, um, but it's always good to look around at different cities. Like Irvine is a close by city that I can look at and I can look at their CarMax and say, okay, I'm going to go down to Irvine to get my Tesla or, okay, I'm going to go over to Oceanside and get my Tesla. So it's really just based off of how far you're willing to drive and what you're willing to buy. Um, so the best prices are normally, are normally on online. And then you can compare it to the ones that are at the dealership. And then you can cut a deal with CarMax right then and there and get the car right then and there. It's really easy to do, only takes about an hour or two uh, to get the car off the lot, to take a test drive, and to be on your merry way with your vehicle. Here we also have the sell slash trade function. So this is where you, you'd put your license plate. This is where you'd put um, where your car's registered, where the, vit, uh, where the zip code is. You can put in the VIN number as well. Um, and then, then you make an appointment, or you get an offer, you make an appointment, and then you get paid. That's how it works, is you put everything in, you tell them the conditions in, then you make an then you make an offer, or you get an offer, then you make your appointment, and then you get paid. So it's super easy, and then somebody else will have your car once they clean it up, once they fix a few things up, and then, once again, you just cycle through the process. You go car after car after car, and usually with CarMax, they will replace a few items. Um, you can bring it to a dealership. I'll help you out. CarMax will also, um, if you do decide to bring it back, they'll also clean your car sometimes, um, depending on what packages you have and other things like that, that you negotiate with a car uh, salesman right there in store. You can also finance. So like I mentioned before, um, there's the price calculator. There's also CarMax Auto Finance, where you can finance, finance your car and figure out what plan is right for you. Creating an account allows you to basically go through and save cars that you might be in interested in. It also makes the buying process a lot easier since they already have your information on file. You can save cars that you might like. Um, and other than that, that's about it. So once again, my name is Brandon Faulkner. I'm an intern for Village Core. For other events like this, be sure to check out villagecore.org or check out, our, check out our YouTube channel in case you miss any of these meetings. Thank you so much for watching. Thank mm -hmm. you.